Hey, man. Yeah, not much. I'm just waiting around for my master. Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you about him. Oh, man, his name's Bertram Tung. He's a Nosferatu. Oh, man, I wish I knew where he was. I'm getting antsy waiting around for him. I need to tell him some stuff, you know? I don't know where he is or stays or anything. Oh, man, I... <sighs> Whenever he needs me, just, you know, appears. Oh, man. Well, he's like the only vampire I know, but, well, he seems pretty damn powerful. Oh, man. Well, when he's looking at you, it's like he's really scanning your brain, you know? It's like trippy. It's crazy. <gasps> man. But I guess that's the Nosferatu thing, you know? <laughs> they, like, know everything, I, I guess. Oh, man. Wow. Bertram had me keeping an eye on this guy. This Asian dude who's been poking around Santa Monica. Bertram thought he might be a vampire or something like a vampire. I don't know. Oh, man, this guy, this, this thing got wise to me. Now, instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy appear around me all the time. Like, off in the distance watching me, he'll warp up next to me. Oh, man, then whoo, disappear. Oh, what are you saying? What? How did you know? Ah, uh, look. Oh, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, why should I tell you anything, huh? I mean, you're not being straight with me. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it, Knox. Damn. Oh, man. All right, look. I messed up, okay? I'm just doing what I was told, though. Bertram knew you were coming. Knew you'd come by here. He planted me and told me what to say about the Asian vent, but it's true. I swear. And everything else is true, too. This Asian guy needs to be taken out. I can't do it, so Bertram needs you to. Seriously, no, really. This thing is here, and it's bad news for all of us. Bertram says there could be an army of them show up any day unless we show them we mean business. Hell yeah! Right on! Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire thing, you know? The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. I've been so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. No, the picture on the license isn't him. I don't know why he had it, but, well, it might help you find out where he is and what he's doing. Here, take it. Right on! Just come back and let me know the job's done so I can stop freaking out. Oh, man. Maybe I'll see Bertram by then. Skies are all right. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dead of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up.
Yo, dude, you do that thing yet? Right on, man! Yes! Hey, I'm sorry again for what happened before. I still haven't heard anything from Bertram, but you know, I'll let him know about how good you did and, and about how you were cool about everything. And, and yeah, oh man. Bertram said it's like a vampire, but different, you know? It's like what they have in China instead of vampires. He said lots of them have been coming to California for some reason, I don't know. What do you need? I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. I knew you would. I had him watching you-know-who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. Come on, fledgling, don't ever think you're ahead of the ball in this game. No matter what action you take, some kindred you never even met already foresaw it and found a way to profit from it. Oh, shit. Huh. Well, savor the flavor, fledgling. Thanks. You helped me get rid of a spy without revealing myself. Or getting my hands dirty. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is gonna want to hear all about this victory.